3006 John here and today what I'm going to be working on is uh, my 300 Ultra Mag rifle. Caribou season here in Alaska starts in about two weeks where I'm hunting and I'm busy getting the rifle squared away and uh, loading up some ammo. Yeah, Remington introduced this uh, cartridge, I don't know, almost 20 years ago, I guess. Um, there was the one of the first major Magnum cartridges that didn't have a rim on it. There were some other smaller ammo manufacturers that were doing this. But Remington was the first big ammo manufacturer to chamber a gun and, and, and create this cartridge. It sort of led the way to all the newer cartridges now. Uh, very few, if any, modern or newer cartridges have uh, belts on them. Uh, it's really not needed. This is one of my hand loads here. This is a 180 grain Nosler Acubon. Uh, over 86 grains of reloader 22. It's, the velocity is uh, 3250 feet per second. 3,250 feet per second. This rifle that I'm using, this is a, a Remington Model 700. This, this, was, this is a well-made rifle. This is when Remington knew how to make rifles. Uh, long action. I think this is the same action they would chamber 375 H&H &H in. Stainless steel. 26 inch fluted barrel. Uh, the stock is a Macmillan stock. It came from the factory this way. This is a, a Remington Sendero. The first generation Sendero uh, that came with Macmillan stocks, fiberglass stocks. The scope I have on it this is a Leopold Mark IV a military sniper scope, 3.5 to 10, with uh, target turrets. Inside here, I created a drop table. Uh, goes out to 900 yards. For components today, I'm going to be using uh, Reloader 22. Uh, this powder has been around for a fairly long time. For primers, I'm going to be using the uh, Remington 9.5M Magnum Rifle Primer. Now for bullets, my normal hand load, hunting load, is the uh, Nosler Acubon 180 grain bullet. Um, I'm having problems, I'm sort of low on those bullets and having problems finding... Uh, any more of them. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is hunting with these Barnes triple shocks. These bullets are 30 caliber, 180 grain, TSX Botel. Uh, triple shocks are really good hunting bullets. And once you get them dialed in, they're, they're always pretty accurate. Very good uh, on game also. My other bullet I'm going to be using sort of a practice load is the uh, Sierra Game King 180 grain. This is a good bullet. They've always been pretty accurate. Uh, they're certainly adequate for a caribou, but hunting in Alaska you always have to worry about brown bears and grizzly bears. So that's why I'll be hunting with the uh, Barnes Triple Shock. Once your die is in, I'm just doing one case. Hit it with a little bit of uh, one shot oil or resizing lubricant. Make sure you get some in the uh, mouth. Let it sit for a minute. All right, let's resize it. Three hundred Ultra Mag is a long case. You're gonna need some umph. You're not gonna do this with a small press. 
and I, uh, I fold on three sides of my cases. I wipe the oil off with a rag, get a primer pocket cleaner, just make sure there's no uh, abnormal amount of uh, ash inside the primer pocket. Now we want to prime, put a primer in the uh, primer arm. Grab the uh, case. Seat the primer, make sure it's flush. Screw in the seating die. Okay, for powder, make sure your scale's calibrated. Now I know that's just about two scoops of this Lee powder scoop to get the 86 grains or a load of 22. Trickle the rest in. Looking for 86.0 grains. Looks good. Take the powder funnel, grab the powder, pour it in, make sure it doesn't get stuck in the funnel. Okay, put the uh, case with the powder in the shell holder. Now comes the adjustment part. All right, I'm using a Sierra 180 grain bullet. Let's put it in there, run it up. You don't want to go too far. You don't want to see it too deep. So when you're first setting up your die, you, have, you don't want to go in all the way. Now I'm looking for 3.69 inches. Let's see where we're at. Not quite there yet. A little bit deeper. Yep, there we are, 3.69 inches. So let me lock the die down. So what I do is put the bullet back in Screw out the cedar a little bit. Let me move the camera so you can see that. That's the top portion of the die right here. Screw that out. Run it all the way up. We know we're at the correct length, so now we just screw the cedar in. The top seating stem here. Until it stops. Right there. Put on the lock nut. So now it's set to 3.69 inches for this cartridge. Looks good. Primer's flush. Let me finish up a bunch more. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Also, if you like this type of content, hit the uh, like and subscribe buttons. That's all I have for today. Everyone take care. Have a nice day.